This is a standard half set of molding planes with two rabbit planes and a couple of specialty planes. These, for most people, you don't need them. Uh, there's only a few circumstances that you would really require them. So let's look at what most people would find beneficial. They come in matched pairs, so this would be a set. These are both marked number 12. One's round, or one's concave, one's convex. This would then be another set, only it would be smaller. So you don't need to start off with a full set, a full complete set of graduated sizes. You might want to look at just the size that fits with what you're using. The reason for the difference in size is to produce different size moldings. So this was done with a number 14, and this was done with a number 8. Very similar shape but the scale is significantly different. We've got an OG, we've got an OG. Uh, this one happens to have a quirk, this one has a fillet. So if you're thinking of getting some, you might want to consider the scale of the project that you most frequently work with. These are something of an investment. They're not particularly cheap, but they allow you to produce moldings that fit the size of what it is that you are building. It gives you a great flexibility in designing your own moldings to do custom work. And I mean truly custom work to fit what it is that you want to produce. So if we were to take these two together, you now have a much more interesting crown molding than either of them separately or whatever you could find to purchase off the shelf. When you hold a molding plane, or use a molding plane, both hands cannot steer the plane. You, your body tends to fight from left to right and you don't get a clean pass. Your left hand is what guides the plane, typically a thumb on the top, fingers on the side or at the bottom depending on how you need to hold it. Your right hand pushes only. So although it is wrapped around the end, it could just as easily be butted up against it. It does not steer the plane at all.